Oh shit. What's going on guys? So today is the day we get to prep this lip. So that way you get it sprayed, good to go. So once I get my adhesion promoter set, I got all the paint, I got the primer, I got the clear coat, which is 2K clear, and we should be good to go. So if I am looking a little, a little slender, it's because of this 11 to 22 millimeter lens that I just copped. Oh my God, I love this thing. Super wide angle, you get to see everything rather than just my big ass head. So I'm um, gonna get this lip prepped. I am using a 222 wet sandpaper. Um, I like to soak it in water to get that nice flowing, non-nasty. Actually, I really don't know why I put it in water, but it said it on Google, so whatever. Um, I'm gonna start scuffing this down. The reason why I'm scuffing this down is only because fiberglass, when they are made, they do come with like this gel coat coating, and you don't wanna spray on top of that because it, the primer or adhesion promoter won't have anything to grip onto when you're ready to spray your base. So that means that it would probably peel off if you put some tape onto it. And since I'm doing two colors, I will be putting some uh, tape to it. All right, so I also wanna take the time out to apologize. I know I haven't really been posting and there's a large gap in between my videos. It's only because I am working and it's just taking up all my time. And the days that I do have off, I do have to spend with family and girlfriend and all that. So I will try my best to get this lip painted, ready to go to put on the car, cause it's about to be sick. And it's the last piece of the puzzle for me to complete my whole lip setup thing, whatever, you know what I mean? Please continue subscribing. Honestly, numbers have went up and I'm super grateful for that. So thank you guys. I appreciate all the love, support, and that's about it. So let's get this lip started. It's about to be lit. Um, Pretty much, I'm gonna get everything set and ready to go. So I think I'm gonna time lapse this part. I got my fireplace going, about to roll some marshmallows. I got the paint warming up. And after that, should be ready to paint. Oh man, I'm super hyped. Hope everything comes out good. This should be good though. Right, so it is the next day last time i updated you guys the primer was getting a little fuzzy like it was getting like these little fuzzy thingies on it and it seems like the temperature was wrong in the room uh i set it the heat too high so the paint was actually drying before it hit the um the front lip so which sucks but i redid everything got everything pretty much set i do need to smooth it out and hopefully it comes out good but yo check this out lines in that though like just can't wait to start painting black
so that part is pretty much done. All we got left now is to paint it white, which is the absolute scariest part. Um, I am a little worried. I am a little worried the paint's not going to come out the same. It is going to be weird looking, and hopefully it doesn't crack. We've been doing good so far. Nothing is perfect. These lines is not straight at all, but you know what? It beats paying 300 something dollars for a paint job. So, but look, check this out. Look at that. I'm gonna keep y'all far away so you don't see all these imperfections, but as you can tell, I got some overspray there. Hopefully I can try to get that out with some alcohol. As you know, the gray part is gonna be, damn, I got some hairy ass ones. The gray part is gonna be white, black part stay black. Um, so I got pretty much everything maxed up, masked off, mask off. And uh, we should be ready to go to paint. We're gonna hit it with white base coat. It is super late. I got the heater on super hot because it's super cold outside. And I say super like at every goddamn sentence when I don't know what the hell to say. So, um, yeah, right after the base coat, we're going to hit that three coats. Ten minutes. Well, I'm going to give it 15 minutes in between, uh, in between coats. And then I'm going to hit it with the 2K clear. This is the home stretch. If it goes bad here, that's it. It's done. It's over. All right, so this is the home stretch. Let's do it. Alright guys, so everything is pretty much done. Third coat is on. It's gonna, probably going to take the longest to dry. So I'm going to clean up this area. Um, and that's pretty much it for now. Tomorrow I got to wake up at 4.45. And it it's 11, 11.40 right now. I can't even see that. Um, which sucks because... <sighs> It's going to be a long day at work tomorrow, but I'll do what I got to do. All right, so I'll see you in the morning. Being that I did this on the first floor of my apartment building, all right, it's not that bad, but it's, it's bad. If you look at the lip, it's not really that bad. I mean, it does have some gloss to it. Hold on, let me get a light. Oh. All right, so if you look at the lip, it's really not that bad. That doesn't help, not one bit. But it does shine. I mean, it is, like, mad shiny. So the clear coat came out amazing. These lines are horrible. That's one thing. I got some overspray over here, which I could try to get out. Um, the tape that I used was Frog Tape, which is a good brand, but I didn't detack it, as they say. Before I put it on, um, only because I wanted straight lines, but apparently this, as you can see, all the tape residue. So I'm trying to use this Google on here and this little can of WD-40 and a heat gun to actually try to get everything off. The problem is <sighs> it's not coming off. And the more I keep rubbing on the flat black paint, it's just pretty much eating up the paint and scrubbing off with... The microfiber towel so uh i don't know but it is good to be back home i haven't i mean i have been home for the past two days but it's been coming home shower straight back to work coming home shower straight back to work so it's not really been been home been home but as you can tell it's kind of damaging the paint a lot don't worry about this wd-40 so i don't want to keep going with it because it's just it just doesn't make any sense. I am going to have to spray it again. I'm actually gonna sand it down and see if I could get, you know. Damn, so close. So close. Oh boo -hoo. So 
Guess I'm just gonna F it up some more and see if maybe I could get it to to come out. Damn yo. Such a sad day. Alright guys, so just got out of work and uh we're headed to the shop now, which I'm super excited about. Cause we're about to get this lip installed, which is super dope. And I saw it yesterday, but it was masked up. Mask up. T -t -t Today, Junior! <laughs> I um, had the tape around it, so I didn't see the white. But I can assure you, this lip looks fire. And it's going to tie in well with everything on the car. So I'm super hype about it. And I'm going to try to try to swindle my way into getting uh, Brett from the custom shop to <laughs> install it. Nah, but if he's busy, I probably won't bother him about it. But either way, man, I'm super hyped. So, as you guys already know, I effed up badly. Like, badly, badly. Alright, so when I, I try to use, uh, what is it, Google on? I try to use uh, what you call WD-40. Some weird remedies didn't work. The tape residue was so stuck on the flat black that I just couldn't get it off. So, oh, damn. Relax, bro. Shit. Driving crazy out here. And, um, yeah, so it was stuck on, and it just left the imprint, and I just didn't like it, and it was bothering me. Mind you, I could have just put the car, put it on the car and just said, F it, whatever. But, I mean, a $1,000 lip, bro. Plus, I mean, it's the last part that I need to just tie in everything with the car. So, I don't know. I kind of wanted it to be done right, so I had to take it to the custom shop. Um, being that they're so busy over there, you know, it kind of was just like laying around for a little bit and I can't blame them. Everybody got to make their money and that's what it is. That's what the, the game is about, you know? So finally done, finally got it. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what it looks like in a bit. As soon as I get to the shop. Um, what's good? What up, Steve? What's going on? What up, Oswald? Yeah. Zachariah. Shit. No. No. What is this? It's my little uh, dead cat, bro. It's like a fucking. It's <laughs> something color. It's like my grandpa's testicle attached <laughs> to your cat. Baby. What? This looks heat. It looks way better than when I had it. Alright, Chris, yes. Gums, yes. come on, boy. Yeah, help me line it up on the end there. Gotta put a couple of screws on there.
We are back here at the custom shop with one of our favorite clients and friends, Mr. Chris Kellerum. All day. And his beautiful Lexus IS. So we recently touched up his front lip for him, taped it off, and did some black paint because uh, I think he was doing a little backyard job, <laughs> which he does a great job in all his shit. Like, you do a great job. Yeah, thank you, thank it's you. It's just whatever happened with the solvents you're using, something funky. <laughs> it's all right. Frog we redid it. It looks pretty good. But, um, yeah, a couple little touch-ups on the white here and there. I think it looks great, though. You did a great fucking job. Thanks, if, it didn't, if it didn't smudge, dude. Yeah, it would have been. Mint. Yeah, mint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, honestly, we just touched it up. We didn't do it. You did it. So, good job, you know. Very good. No, you definitely cleaned it up. Anyway, lot, I'm happy to see the results. I'm sure everyone out there is pretty happy to see the results Hell themselves. yeah. But, uh, yeah, dude, the car's coming out great. And did you tell them about your other thing that you received yeah, you did okay yeah. i don't want to blow it up in the channel we got the wheels bro good this car <laughs> needed that i'm sure all the viewers are like but what about the wheels you know? <laughs> um so we're gonna put some nice yeah, you know you want to come back car. right yeah dude well i fucking yeah, hope so this guy lives around the block and he only came <laughs> on a fucking rally with us i hope he comes back jesus christ you know i'm gonna see you again <laughs> oh shit it looks huh Oh, I'm not, you killed it, bro. Let me see if we can touch up the little boots and map on the caliper for lights. Alright guys, that is a wrap for this video. Honestly, I couldn't be more happy of the outcome of this video. Super excited. It came off fire. The lip absolutely looks amazing. It does look good with the whole, you know, side skirts and the rear add-ons, which I may add. If you look in the back there, that is my 350Z diffuser and the rear splats are in the trunk. Yeah. Kind of hit a hit a lake little backstory I was driving to work and I guess one of the areas were was flooded and I drove through it I got water coming over my hood and I guess that's where my diffuser kind of broke but it's not really the diffuser that broke it's just a bracket that I made out of ABS plastic so I might just go back and do it again and see what happens and try to bolt it up more securely this time you know Again, this, this all comes with the game. You know, you fix shit, you break shit, put it back together. As for the custom shop, thank you so much for helping me touch up the lip and getting everything set and proper. And Anand, thank you so much for touching up all the little spots on my stock bumper right now and the scuffs that I had before when I was static. But honestly, I cannot, like who does that? Like he took the time to actually touch up some of the stuff, you know what I mean? But. I am gonna get this car eventually paint corrected and fill in all these rock chips and all that. Um, I just wanna to touch upon a point as well. This coronavirus thing is really hitting hard, especially, you know, with all the shops and businesses out there, you know, the car business, the everything, just everything is just getting hit at once. Um, but the only thing I can tell you guys is to remain positive, you know, try to stay sanitized as much as you possibly can. But, if you feel like you have been exposed, you know what I mean? There's tons of inf information out there, especially on Google. Definitely, I would say Google it and and find out what's the next step. There's a lot of precautions that you should take. And for those who aren't, you know, like I said, stay sanitized. That's pretty much the only thing I can really tell you. So stay tuned for the next video. If you guys haven't been subscribing, please consider subscribing. I'm not going to force you guys because it's YouTube. I'm not here to make it really kind of kind of all right guys so that's pretty much it for this video if you guys aren't subscribed please consider subscribing because i promise you to next next video is going to be packed with kind of fun shit to do cambo arms pvc pvc valve and test fitting the wheels so please consider subscribing um and yeah man i hope you guys enjoy the video thank you sorry about the rambling and the babbling but just wanted to give you guys an update and i hope you enjoy the lip See y'all next time.